Yo, what is going on guys? This is the 4th Gen Gamer here, bringing you guys some more Alpha Sapphire playthrough. Oh man, I'm hyped for this. I gotta say, I gotta say, I gotta say, I am a happy person right now, because I got, I got all this cool stuff today, and I couldn't, I couldn't be happier right now. I couldn't be happier. Let's just, let's fit this uh, little face cam in there for like half a second. Got Alpha Sapphire. Very happy about that. Got Super Smash Bros. Huh? Huh? Yeah? Does that count? Yeah? For the Wii U. Really happy about that. Uh, yeah, I got... The, the fuck? How the fuck did that get... I'm sorry, I don't know how the fuck that got in the pile, but it just did. I'm sorry. That was bad. I don't know how that happened. Who needs Pokemon X anymore? And I got this as well. So I'm pretty hyped about that. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you're all having a great Friday. I hope that you are hyped for this stream that we're doing because it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I don't know how long we're going to go. I think we're going to go at least an hour. And depending on how many people are here, how many people come out, how active the chat is and all of that stuff, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go longer. But anyway, we're gonna go right into this. We had episode one non-live, and this is going to be a mixed bag series. We're going to have some episodes live, some episodes not live. Um, just, uh, yeah, just depends on how I'm feeling and everything and all that fun shit. But anyway, uh, we're just gonna continue from where we were before. This is a solo comm, just like the normal Let's Play. Uh, just, you know, like it's live, but, you know, normal and shit. I don't know. Anyway, this is from my dad. He said he forgot to give it to you, uh... Before. Yeah, cool. So we got uh, the Pokenav Plus. It's been upgraded. And now we have the Pokenav. We have the Dexnav. That's what we have. And um, that's cool. It's pretty much the Pokedex and a couple other cool features uh, linked onto it. Like with wild Pokemon and shit. But anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, we already got stopped by our mom. That was in the end of last episode. Uh, yeah. Also, we have a question of the day. You can answer this in the YouTube comment section if you're watching this non, uh, you know, non-live. Or if you're watching this in the live chat right now, go ahead and let us know what your favorite part is. So, anyway, uh, I also want some suggestions for, uh, our team. Now, I know I'm gonna use Mudkip, I know I'm gonna use Beldum. And I already put the, uh, Beldum into the game, we just need to go claim it. And, uh, those are gonna be two of our team members, so... Anyway, yeah. That's awesome. Um, let me know what you guys think, favorite part of RS so far, and that'll be awesome. So, I'm gonna pull up this chat, make sure I can see what you guys are saying, and all that cool stuff. Uh, let me just close out this ad, so I can see. There we go, thank you JumboCake1005 for following me, much appreciated. If you guys do want to stay up to date on all these streams, best idea is, uh, <laughs> best idea is to follow the stream. Shameless little plug there. Uh, broke Pokemon X. I don't think I broke it. I don't even think the game's in there. I, it, was, it just, it was in my pile of games, and I'm like, yo, I got this game, I got this game, I'm like, ew, ew. Pokemon X, ugh, who, who gives a shit? <laughs> um, yeah, X is so 2013. So, 2013. Uh, yeah, so anyway, make sure you guys do tweet out the stream, spread the word. We only have nine viewers here, of course, because, you know, our ass is being, like, overplayed as hell, uh, and I'm part of that tidal wave. So, uh, you know, hey, you guys that are here right now, you are the, you're the awesome, uh, excuse me, the awesome viewers. I appreciate you guys so much for coming out to the stream. And uh, anyone that's watching this non live, you're also just as awesome. And I appreciate everything. So, yeah, this is a normal playthrough. And I'm also looking, once the power save codes come out, to do a dual egglock with Galactic Elliot. But that's uh, once the power save codes are out for all the fun stuff, the, you know, quick egg hatch code and everything, and all that good shit. Anyway, Josh, over here. And Jumbo Cake 1005, good answer. I like that. Being able to fly on Latios and Lias, that's a very cool feature. Definitely one of my favorites. Great answer. Uh, see that right there? The tail sticking out? There's a Pokemon hiding there. Oh, really? Thank you for sharing that with me. And look here, if you check your Dex Nav, all right. <laughs> it looks like the Pokemon knows it's a pretty, uh, pretty rare move, too. Probably some type of egg move or something. And uh, I forget. Um, <laughs> I forget, like, what I said. If it was in the. Alpha Sapphire or something, but I said it was like a I said it looked like a dick in the air. Uh, well, I didn't say in this, obviously. I said in the Omega Ruby. But anyway, and we're gonna get close. We're gonna get a uh, approach it really slowly. Uh, to be honest, this is from OMG Pulling in the chat. Uh, to be honest, I I like the little things like the Dex Nav and how it shows um, it shows to uh, right away in the PC. 
I honestly, I do like the little things. I do like a lot of little details that they've had uh, added to the game. I really do take note of it, and that's uh, one of the things that I keep on noting um, as I'm recording. I'm like, wow, look at that little detail. All this little detail, you know? Like, yeah, I don't know. Alright, let's uh, sneak up on this thing. Dun it. Dun it. Dun it. Dun 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 and there's Poochiana. So, uh, I think we're gonna catch this, maybe, for the YOLOs and shit. And, uh, since I'm doing this live, I'm gonna be a little picky with adding Pokemon to the layout. Like, I'm only gonna add a Pokemon if I know I'm going to use it. Uh, I think I'm just gonna defeat this for the experience, actually. Uh, but yeah, make sure you guys do let me know if the game audio is all good. Oh, Fire Fang. So, it does know, like, egg moves or whatever. I think that's an egg move. Um, audio is all good, hopefully. Now make sure you let me know if the game audio is overpowering me, or I'm overpowering the game audio, because you want to hear the game audio too, the game audio is great, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to cut out that part of it, you know, that's fucking amazing. Cool. So, make sure you can hear everything loud enough, not too loud, and that's cool. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys, uh, think of the layout that I made. Uh, obviously, on the top, we're gonna have all our Pokemon that we have in our party as well, which is cool. So, uh, yeah, give me your opinion on that as well, I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually, uh, I'm really excited to finally make progress in this game, because I have not got past Norman just for a variety of reasons. I've been busy with other videos, and my computer has been, like, laggy as hell when I'm rendering, and, uh, I've also been working on Smash videos on the, on Juniper Gaming, which I already have two videos, and I have a third one. Lower your voice a tiny bit. Sure. Um, actually, you know, I'm not gonna lower my voice. I'm actually going to raise my voice a little bit and lower the game audio, because I know it's wrong. Okay. That should be better. I sound a little bit louder. A little la- oh, crap. Game audio needs to be louder. My bad. Okay. Uh... Alright. Cool. A little louder game audio. Okay. I think that should be better. There we go. Let me know if that's better from where I say, is this better right now? Let me know. Pokemon Center, I love it. Looks fantastic. I love everything in this game. The music and everything, the graphics, all the little details. I like the what they add to the music. Uh, I mentioned this in Omega Ruby uh, series, I believe. Um, but I like how they added in a more variety of instruments because the horns and the trumpets are great and everything. I love it. Uh, I'm actually going to claim my Beldum actually here. And it's awesome, but I love how they added in more strings and flutes and stuff, and bells and stuff like that. It's really awesome. But anyway, uh, we are going to update this layout. Uh, I already pre-planned for that Beldum to be in there, but uh, from now on, every Pokemon that I need to put in the layout, it might take like a minute or so for me to update it. So uh, just a heads up, but that one I you know, pre-planned because I know it's going to be a thing. But anyway, alright, cool. Thank you, Pauline. Thank you, Peds. That's what I'm talking about, because then... It sucks, because when I do like an hour and a half of like streaming, and then I go back and I listen, and I'm like, oh shit, for like an hour and a half I was streaming, and like the game audio was like really soft, really loud, and you know, you can't change it at that point, so thank you very much. And something I want to point out, if you did not see, whenever you go to these big signposts, it'll, you know, like say, you know, the town name and, you know, a little town motto, where things start to scarce, uh, start off scarce, that's what I meant. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, Pauline. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if you realize. Yeah, it color, it color changes for each type. I think that's what you meant. But anyway, yeah, I'll just do this one more time since I didn't really talk about it too much. It pans out, shows some different, uh, you know, buildings and stuff. Really awesome. I love it. I love that they do that. I believe it's for every town as well. A lot of cool little details with this. So, anyway, now we're gonna move on, make some progress. God damn it. <laughs> and I'm probably not gonna catch many Pokemon. Uh. uh I'm gonna show my reaction to that, yo. That made me smile so much, like... Yeah. <laughs> there were literally wingles that just flew across. I'm gonna rewatch that part of the stream. There were wingles, like... Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying, I haven't seen that before. So if you already saw that, then you're, like, looking at me with, like, I have five eyes, like... Uh, are you serious? Like... <laughs> but seriously, that's so cool. The wingles are just chilling there. <laughs> oh, that's... That's fantastic. That is just... I'm in love. I'm in love with this game. That's fantastic right there. Wow. That is awesome. 
I love it. Oh man. Now that's a awesome. That's an awesome little detail right there. That's what I'm talking about. The wingles just flying across. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm gonna go tweet out this stream. Uh, spread the word about it a little bit. Maybe get a few more people in here. That would be great. And now we have this shiny beldum in battle. I love shiny beldum. I've mentioned that many times, and it's uh, it's really an awesome shiny. And this beldum is uh, not any ordinary beldum because uh, it doesn't have uh, just takedown. It has a variety of moves. And uh, yeah, go ahead and not hit the Zen head, but thank you for that. Uh, I know that I'm using some redundant Pokemon, like the event Pokemon Beldum and a Mudkip, but you know what? I'm just playing this for fun and I'm recording it for you guys, so, you know, do what I want here, you know? <laughs> Alright, so uh, make sure you guys do tweet out the stream. I'm gonna go check if anyone did tweet out and tag me. I'll make sure to retweet it. And uh, thank you, Polian. I see that you tweeted out as well. Thank you for all the support, Polian, by the way. I can. Uh, See, I appreciate you bought the Fab Five shirt and you're, uh, you come to a lot of the streams. It really is, uh, I appreciate it. It really does me a lot. Especially when, you know, set aside time and shit, I'm knocked down all my games. Uh, when you set aside time for shit like this and, you know, you have some consistent people. Alright, uh, what is holdback anyway? I need to, like, check that. Uh, holdback is... Uh, oh, okay. Uh, holds back when it attacks, and the target is left with at least one HP. Ooh, that is very interesting. Hmm. Starts disobeying at level 10. That's interesting. Thank you for letting me know, man. That's actually very useful. I appreciate that. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, can someone let me know? If, if someone's looking to, like, maybe open a new tab and do a little quick research, you don't have to. But, uh, maybe find out... If the stones are easier to get, you don't have to tell me exactly where, but is it easier than, like, the shard house? I don't know if anyone knows that. You don't have to, like, go out of your way, but if someone knows, then, uh, I'm kind of curious. Not gonna lie. <sighs> Alright, so, make sure you guys do, like I said, suggest some team members as well, so I know, uh, just some ideas. I want to use some Pokemon I haven't used before. Uh, and as weird as it sounds, Beldum is one of those Pokemon, because it's not very common. That's why I want to use it. And, uh, hello, 13690. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Alright, so down and out, we got that bug trainer. He's out of here. And, uh, I guess we'll explore this area a little bit, see if there's any berries or anything cool like that. Anything hidden. And, you know, I'm gonna go over to this Dex Nav. See, uh, if there's any cool Pokemon hiding. Uh, there's a youngster. I'm sure he'll battle us. Uh, I guess not. I'm gonna catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. Sweet. Good luck, kid. I like how they show the old, uh, not very tall, so I sink right into the tall grass. The grass goes up my nose, and... <laughs> Achoo! Alright. Uh, I like how they show, like, the old Ruby and Sapphire graphics in the bottom screen for the deck snap. I think that's, uh, cool. Hello, Chica. Three, four. Three, two, uh, three, two, four. My bad. And, uh, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I make more progress when I am... Whatchamacallit? When I'm doing a live stream. I don't know. I'm just more on a roll, you know? I just like interacting and everything. Uh, OCP23, I found Mall Light on Route 117. Cool. Cool. I'm also looking, once I actually get to that point, I will probably do uh, some how-to videos uh, on those types of things. Just I'm not at that point yet. I only have the shiny Beldum how-to. But I'm definitely looking to do some of those. Uh, and yeah. That's the thing, I'm, I really want to make an extra effort to, uh, you know, just put out extra how-to videos. Uh, not only do they do really well, but they really help people uh, just for useful things. Even if some of them are a little obvious, like Just Play Pokemon put up a video on how to Wonder Trade, because, I mean, hell, you don't unlock Wonder Trading until you get to, like, Norman. Uh, you know, not when you battle him, but until you, like, get to the gym, you know? And some people don't know that, so even basic tutorials, you know, TM26 Earthquake, that's a useful HM, or TM rather, I think it's TM26 still. Uh, just little things like that, and I love to do that. Uh, you know, once I get far enough into the game, like right now, I can't really do anything. There's, there's nothing useful here. But uh, where do you get these berries? I think that looks like orange berry and maybe a citrus berry or something. I'll take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. orange berries. Uh, let's see. On Elf Sapphire, I'm watching the beautify scene. They added show off uh, the graphics. Oh yes, I remember that. That was beautiful. Uh, I don't know if that episode's out yet. I have one other episode of Omega Ruby Record, episode 3, that's going up later tonight. Probably more towards midnight. 
to one in the morning ish. Depend actually the video is probably gonna take a long time to render. It might be more towards like the morning. But uh got a nice little flower there. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Uh, I do love that scene though. You guys are gonna see that in just a moment here. We got this uh probably a last it looks like. I'm gonna keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Oh, you got it. Uh help me further my career. Alright. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. Uh, there's a list online of where all the Mega Stones are, though uh, that may be a little too easy. I might look it up if I need to, but um, I'm gonna like avoid that. I want to just try and do it on my own and uh, just get some helpful videos. You know, uh, you know, they help other people. They help me grow my channel and everything. And uh, I want to do a little more variety. I don't want to just be known for Let's Plays. I want to do the How Tos. I want to do some more Wi-Fi battles. That's why I did the New Age Battle League with Swami. And what the hell's up with this Zen uh, Zen Headbutt accuracy? I don't like it. Uh, but that's why I'm doing the New Age Battle League. Clear body is very nice, actually. Uh, you know, getting some more battling. And, uh, you know, just kind of spread my wings a little bit. That's why I'm doing remixing as well. I'm just trying to do a little bit of everything, you know? Look up a couple things. Chats. I guess you're talking to the chat. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. Uh, Josh, do you have an idea of what your full team will be? That's uh, a little bit of an older comment. Sorry, I didn't apply that right away. Uh, that's from 13690. Uh, all that I know is that I'm definitely going to be using the two Pokemon in the party now, and that's already a third of my team, right? Yeah, that's a third of my team already. Uh, the rest, I have absolutely no idea. I might get more Mega Evolutions, even though it's kind of unconventional to have more than one or two. But uh, I just want to use as much Pokemon, as much of a variety, and uh, as many Mega Evolutions as I really can. Uh, you know, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dex Snap, Detector Mode. Reacts to Pokemon in the area, so it's really handy. Cool. What's that now? Oh, this is the Beautifly. This is the Beautifly. Do you have any new remixes? Uh, I don't, and I've been so engulfed in X and Y. Uh, next remix probably won't be out for like another at least two or three weeks. At least. In the best case scenario, two or three weeks. I'm still learning. I'm still really new to it. So it's going to be a while uh, between each remix because I'm still learning. I'm still new to it. All right. Look up there. Check them out, Josh. This is beautiful right here. You guys got to check this out right now. Beautiful. Just awesome. You had the Wingles flying by before, the Beautiflies just, you know, flying by now as well. It's really awesome. It really is. Those were Beautifly, weren't they? I'll have to check my Dex Nav later to be sure. But wow, we already made it to our 102, huh? I guess it's really true that time flies when you're with a friend. Oh, uh, look! There's Petalburg already! Petalburg? Sure. <laughs> my whole team has Mega Evolutions, actually. That's actually really cool. I would like that, but uh, I don't know if that's gonna end up happening or not. Well, so far, my team is all Mega Evolutions, even though there are only two Pokemon. Uh, your dad is Gym Layer Petalburg City. Yep. And, uh, yeah, once she gets stronger, she'll take him on. And that's cool. But, uh, well, we got this uh, little magnifying glass. Oh, nearby Pokemon. Beautiful eye. Cool. Cool. Sorry, I love the music. It's more like an accordion, I guess. Not an accordion, but like... It's, just, it's different. It's just... Uh, I love the music. Petalburg City, where people mingle with nature. Nice little pan out. I don't know how many people know about that. Probably a decent amount. Uh, that's just awesome. I love that. I really do. Where is Wally gone? He should be leaving for Ven uh, Verinturf Town soon. Good stuff. Good stuff. <sighs> I wish I could go on an adventure with Pokemon. Curl through some damp grass, climb rocky, rugged mountains, cross the raging seas, wander about in dark caves, and sometimes get a little homesick. It must be fabulous to travel. Well, I haven't been traveling for long, but it has been fun so far. Uh, is the Matang shiny a uh, true get? Uh, I'm getting Elf Sapphire tomorrow. Uh, I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, this is a Beldum. I don't know if you're mixing up the two of them, but. Uh, it's an event Pokemon, and if you want to know how to get it, there's a video on my channel that uh, it's really brief, two minutes, nice and easy to get. Once you get your game, just play a little bit, and then you should be able to get the mystery gift. Just uh, go on my channel, you can watch the video. Uh, but yes. You can uh, do that on the video that I saw. Uh, where is it? It's uh, just go on my YouTube channel, and it's one of my more recent videos. And uh, like I said, it's pretty quick. Only like a minute 30 is actually getting the Beldum, and then the rest is just me showing it and stuff. So, it's available to everybody that has internet connection. So, you know. Yeah. So, uh, I guess we're gonna go into this little gym here and, uh, see what up. 
see what up though. Not bad. It was a good battle. Thank you, sir. Come back and challenge me anytime. I'll be looking forward to seeing you and your Pokemon again when you're a bit stronger. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm going to do a special training with my Pokemon. Then I'll challenge this gym again. Thank you for the battle, Mr. Norman. It's no problemo, sir. Alright. Oh, excuse me. Uh, hmm? It's, it's my son. Whoa. Hello, Royalty to Prince. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming out. And, uh, let's see, does it work in X and Y, or like it does in older games? Uh, well, it's like you get Mystery Gift, then you do it through Internet. I don't know if that's, it's pretty much the same in X and Y and the other games. Um, Beldum is awesome. And the XB Share, it's the same as X and Y. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we finished moving in, you see, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do is get a team of more than six. Uh, that's probably what I'll do. Because since the XP share is OP, just to balance it, because I still want to use it. But I'm probably going to have seven team members, and I'll probably rotate. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Or I'll just have an OP team. I really don't care. First time playing through, I'll use it, probably. Um, unless you guys have a real problem with it. Uh, hey, Ped's at the same point. That's that's awesome. If any of you guys want to play with me, feel free. It's awesome. I'm up to the point where I'm just seeing Norman for the first time, our daddy. Uh, you know, I was sure was surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. I see. You're making a good star on your team. Mm hmm then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Josh. Now that's something to look forward to. That sure is. Uh, I do know Champion Cell. Good guy. I like him. Buddy. Good buddy of mine. Uh, let's see. Uh, excuse me. I I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. And that would be Wally. What up, Wally? Hmm, aren't you? You're Wally, right? Yes, I'm supposed to go away with my relatives in Barrenter for a while. But I thought I might be lonely by myself, so I want to bring a Pokemon with me. But I've never caught a Pokemon by myself. I'm not sure if I can. Mm hmm I see. Josh, you heard him all right. Uh, you go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. That's awesome, Peds. Uh, sadly, there's like a delay, so you're not like at the same exact point, but you know, you're you're at least like at the same point as my stream. That's really awesome, though, that we're at the same point, pretty much. That's that's amazing. Uh, Wally here. I'll lend you one of my Pokemon. Cool, cool, cool. And he got a Zigzagoon. Yay! Oh wow. <laughs> He's so grateful about the shitty little Zigzagoon. Uh, oh wow, your Pokemon, sir. Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball, too. So, go give it your best shot. And he got the Pokeball, blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Mr. Norman. And, uh, this guy is so fucking powerful. Wally, at the end of the game, he is so, so powerful. Sorry, I'm moving my microphone right now. If you can hear that. Very powerful at the end of the game. Probably the equivalent's like red in Heart Gold Soul Silver, I would say. Anyway, Josh, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? They do, and he's gonna find a Ralt that he's going to evolve into a nice OP Gallade, and a pretty much Mega Gallade, ultimately. Uh, please stay there and watch, and see if I can catch it properly. Uh, Pedstan says, I would have been ahead, but I've already, uh, I've been playing Smash a lot. Same. Well, I've been playing it a lot, but I've been so caught up in playing both games, Omega Ruby and Off Sapphire, making videos for the both of them, and Smash, and making videos for Smash, so it's been... It's been real busy. It's been real busy, uh, but I mean, uh, I just want you guys to know that I'm putting in max effort, uh, it may not, like, seem like it in my videos, uh, like, the amount that I've been posting, but if you look at it, I've been posting on both channels, uh, all day. I would say, like, maybe every other hour, or every hour I've been posting a video, on average, I would say. Um, whether they're short or long, it's, there's still videos, and I'm really trying. Uh, I have a video for Juniper Gaming. Uh, that's ready to be public. I just don't want to post it at the same time that I'm streaming. So, uh, Glaze, your mascot. That's awesome. Glaze are a really cool Pokemon. I do, I do enjoy a good Glaze. Glaze a fun Pokemon. Looks great. Battles great. Now there's a Mega Evolution. I'm sure, I'm sure that you were. Uh, I'm sure that you were really excited to find out that I got a Mega and and pop that. Why is your hype died? You're the one that gave me the demo. I feel bad. Why is it? Why is it dead? Unless you don't want to talk about it. If you don't want to talk about it, that's cool too. But, wow, if you want to talk about it, man, you can vent to me. I don't have a problem with that. We're all here for each other. Uh, I did it. It's my uh, my own Pokemon. You know, if... Thanks so much, Josh. Let's head back to the gym. That just made me think. Uh, I probably should... Uh, did that go well? Yes, it did. Thank you. Uh, I'm probably going to save my game just in case uh, any shit happens. I'm just going to save in case something pops out or I don't know. Just shit happens. I, I want to save it. Doesn't take that long. Uh, let's see. Let me give you back your Pokemon, sir. And you, Josh. Thank you so much for coming with me. It was all thanks to you, uh, that, to you two that I was able to catch Ralts. 
My very own Ralts, I will always, always treasure it. Oh, I know. It's not much of a thank you, but, uh, Josh, will you let me see your Pokénav Plus? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm not doing a Wonderlock in this run, so it doesn't really mean a lot, but thank you so much. Thank you so much, Wally. Awesome. And, and Papa, I am so sorry to hear that. I really, oh, that is, I am so sorry, man. That really does, uh, that hurts inside. That, that, that hurts. But I'm, I'm just gonna, like, save here. I just kind of skipped all that dialogue. Oh, well. Mom's waiting for you. See you later. He just kind of brief, briefly explained the, uh, briefly explained the player search thing, the, the whatever he just added, all that shit. Pokemon to me, super training, and player search service thing. I don't know, I'm just gonna stop talking for, like, five seconds. And, yeah. Alright, anyway. Um, that boy will be worth keeping an eye on. Hell yeah, he's gonna be fucking red. Uh, but for now, Josh, if you want to become a strong, uh, a strong... As a trainer, listen to my advice. First, head to Roseboro City, which lies beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders as well. Collect badges from them, understand? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. I'm sure we'll battle one day. But that will only be after you become stronger, Josh. Sweet. Awesome. Good deal. Hello, Black Belted Boss. Hello, Rebel Growth. Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys for coming out. Make sure you do tweet out the stream, everybody. And uh, if you want to tag me, I will also retweet you, and I appreciate that. Uh, mucho. A lot. Appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, uh, I would save... Yeah, I'm gonna save right now. Probably a good idea whenever you're playing any game, whether it's a ROM, or a Smash, or... Well, Smash doesn't, doesn't really save exactly, but any game, really. Always a good idea. Always a good idea to save. Save often, too. Uh... Fortree City, wow man, you are. I remember you said you were like near the Safari Zone, I think I heard. And now I'm getting to a point where I have not been in the game yet. So uh pretty much this point out is pretty much eh, I like to say I really like to say pretty much a lot, don't I? Uh so this point on is blinds, pretty much. Because you know, I say pretty much a lot. Uh I haven't seen anything else after this. I've recorded Omega Ruby up to this point, but nothing further. And are these people related to Wally? Uh I'm not sure exactly how that guy's related to Wally, but he's, uh, he's, I don't know, father, uncle, something. Uh, found the Medichemite. Nice. I'm definitely going to be looking at nooks and crannies and stuff, trying to find the Megastones and eventually make some videos on them. That would be pretty cool. But, uh, I'm just going to save again because he also swag going up. Let's go. Alright, and, uh, just going to walk in here. It's a separate area, too. Route 104. Very nice. If I'm in a route for the first time, I like to listen to the music. And it never disappoints. It has not disappointed me at all. <laughs> Yo, Wingle too! Oh, that makes me, uh... That makes me smile. That, that, that's just awesome. Oh, no, I'm not a trainer, but it's true that a trainer's locking eyes is basically, basically an invitation to battle. All that bullshit. Line of sight. Cool shit, cool shit. Another Wingle there. That is awesome. I like the Wingles. That is a very, very nice feature. Ah, oh, the sea. I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Wow. Really? Oh, another wrinkle there. This is, uh, whatever his name is, Mr. Briny. Oh, oh my pretty Pico's ass, full of energy as usual. Alright, keep smoking your pot, old man. This is his old dock here. Oh, that goes out kind of far. Not bad. Yes, far zone is a lot simpler. Uh, no paying, but they don't give you anything. You just roll through Pokemon and catch things like normal. Interesting. Got some uh, ores there, a little life, life rafts or something. I don't know. Anything cool in here? Well, oh, this looks. Oh, this looks very nice, Mr. Briny. I like what you do with the place. It looks fantastico. Ah, it looks excellent right there. I like it. All right, what's in this like wild patch of grass? There's like something that's lighting up on my deck snap here. Huh. All right, I'm just gonna check if there's any cool wild Pokemon here. Something that tickles my interest. And if not, then I'm just going to keep on moving along. And it's a more mother rugged Wurmple. Oh, man. Now for nothing, I have not seen any Pokemon that are not third gen yet. Like, I haven't seen anything that wouldn't have been in the originals, which is kind of a little bit disappointing, but at the same time, it uh, more so emulates the original games successfully, I guess. Uh, but it would be nice to have some more, you know, fourth gen Pokemon, fifth gen Pokemon, and Pokemon that weren't originally. Uh, wait, what did you want? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be a good guy. I'm gonna give him a potion. I'm gonna be so nice. I'm going to be a really nice person. You're welcome, kid. You're welcome, man. 
feel like a good person now. <laughs> Pico on crack as well. I'm sure he is. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I like it on one hand because I don't have to pay. That is kind of nice, not going to lie. Uh, berries are always something really nice. They always come in handy, like, the weirdest times, like, when you're, like, just about to face the champion and you ran out of healing items, and you're just like, alright, well, here comes down to the orange berries. That happens a lot. A lot more than you think. Uh, I, keep, uh, I kept encouraging the same kind of Pokemon, then the Dex Nav got better, and now I can find rare Pokemon easily. Uh, hidden Pokemon. Appears to be a Pokemon somewhere. Oh, I see. It's a Wurmple. Why, why did I even know that? Uh, I should have known that. Oh, I like the way that Pellbird Forest, how it's like transitioning into that. That's nice. Very cool. Very, very cool. Alright. Make sure you guys do go ahead and tweet out the stream. I'm just, I just keep on saying that because it's in episode 2, but it really is like in episode 1 because uh, we didn't do a lot in episode 1. There's all the intro stuff, so... You know, make sure you spread the word that we're streaming. All good stuff. Alright, sweet. So, uh, we got this nice Beldum here. I don't want to level it up too much, because someone said it doesn't obey you after level 10, which sounds, uh, pretty accurate, so... Gotta be careful with that, uh... Man, this thing's a tank, though. Alright, sweet. We live, we live. Tweeting that shit out. Let's see what Iron Head will do. I've only used 10 uh, using my Trico, so now it's OP. Trico can be really OP. Well, you know, Sceptile, for that matter. Uh... So, according to Rebel Growl, if this is from a uh, chat on Skype, if you. <laughs> Anyone who choo uh, shows Mudkip is a cotton-headed ninny mug, a cotton-headed ninny muggins. I don't know if you intended on that being from Elf, but I remember that from Elf. Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad, but anyway, uh, I remember this trainer. I was gonna mention that. I was wondering if he was going to use the, the fucking full restore. Like this early on in the game, there's always that one rich ass kid that has the fucking full restores, and he has the balls to use it against me. Like, come on, man, come on. That ain't cool. And he's gonna use Growl. Fuck yo, Growl. I got clear body. I got that clear body. Alright, take out this Zigzagoon. Come on now. There we go. There we go. Sweet titties. Alright, can I catch another Pokemon? I mean, actually, I'm probably not because, uh. <laughs> I really am not. Because. Psh, they're all gonna be bug Pokemon here that I really will not want. Cool music. Probably not my favorite. It's good. It's good music, but I never really loved the music here. I never really loved uh, Pelleberg Woods, the music for that. It's it's good. It's not bad. I was never like a huge fan of it. You know better than a thief if you try to steal someone else's Pokemon. You should only throw Pokeballs at wild Pokemon you encounter. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Alright, Mega Stone, come on, let's go. Oh, it's Pokemon. Oh, well. Mudkip is cool, but I prefer Trico. I, I honestly, I do like Trico. And honestly, if Trico, uh... I, I don't know, something about Trico... I just... I like Mudkip better. I'm just more of a water type, uh... Person, but I do, I do enjoy that. I do enjoy a good... Uh, Trico. I honestly love all the... Uh, I enjoy all of the... Starters from Hone. They really are all awesome. Uh, Trico, I don't, like, love, and I'm not saying that because of Mega Blaze. I never really, like, love Trico, but Trico's also a really cool Pokemon. I do enjoy that. Um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> Pauline, I wish you could take past trainers. Uh, so do I. Don't we all? Why is this Zagoon so bulky? Uh, that's a, that is a good question. That is a really good question. Wait till you get to Mount Pier. Oh my god, that is, uh, that music is good. I'm sure it is. Uh, all the music in this is really awesome. Uh, even... Something like, you know, Pellberg Woods that I'm usually not a huge fan of. They're wowing me with that, so. They're finding ways. They're finding ways. Alright, so that Wurmple's taken out. I think I'm gonna switch over to my Mudkip because I've really only used a Beldum for uh, the chunk of this episode. And now they're both level 8, so I have an excuse to go back into Mudkip. Okie dokie. Yeah, another Wurmple. Switching to Mudkip for that. 
cool deal. All right. So now that uh, these games are out, of course, now I'm going to ask you the awesome question of what's going to come next? <laughs> but uh, I think that's uh, there's too much speculation in there. I want to know what you guys want to see Game Freak make next. Do you want to see Pokemon Z? Do you want to see a Kanto remake? Do you want to see a new generation? What do you guys want to see? What do you guys want? Not what you think that they will, but what do you... What would you just love for them to do? Uh, they're probably going to make Pokemon Z. I think that's the most probable. You never know. But uh, I think... I think there's a pretty good chance uh, that's going to happen. Uh, I think that they could be... I think there are a lot of better options out there for them, but at the same time... There are a lot of things in X and that they could improve that Pokemon Z would be very successful in. Uh, and I think it would be a great game if they did that. Sinnoh so Remakes, I would fucking love. Like, I would love that, but they're not going to do that. <laughs> but yes, I would love that. Holy shit. That would be amazing. I really want Sinnoh too. Just, I can imagine Spear Pillar and Distortion World. Uh, just those in 3D on the 3DS. Oh, that would be amazing. That really would be amazing. Ah, ah man. Just Distortion World 3DS, come on, you can't go wrong with that, you can't go wrong! You really can't. Alright, so that's the Bug Trainer, he's taken care of. Some of the Bug Trainers in the uh, this forest, at least from what I remember, in uh, the originals, a lot of them had a lot of Pokemon. They weren't like your, you know, one Pokemon Zigzagoon, and it was like six Pokemon, all level three, you know, Wurmples, because, you know, fuck you, whoever's playing the game. Alright. Uh, that would bring us back down that little ledge, and now we have the scientist dude that needs some help. Another one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? Ooh, maybe I could use a Shroomish. I do like Breloom. Not a lot, but I like him. Uh, let's see, I really love that Pokemon. Fucking sick music. I like it. Nice and close up. I was gonna ambush you, but you had to dawdle into Pelberg Woods. Yeah, forever, didn't you? I got, I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. <laughs> He's hiding behind me. Yeah! You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me, please. Please, please! Uh, what do you think you're doing? What, are you gonna protect him? Uh, no one across this team Aqua gets any mercy. Not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Oh, let's hear this battle music. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's go. I've heard that already. <laughs> I've heard that online already. But that's still pretty cool. Uh, I like the animation for the battle, the Team Aqua. Team Aqua logo is just kind of chilling there, floating up and down, bouncing around. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. So this is one uh, Puchina, I believe I'll... Oh, I was going to say 8, but it is level 9. Uh, I guess we'll go for an Iron Head. We'll see what that does. Tackle ain't going to do shit. Spell him just tanks everything. Kanto remaking play as a hash. That's interesting. Uh, honestly, a Kanto remake would not be uh, far-fetched. Pun in fully intended, if you like puns. <laughs> because... It, the last time that was made was in 3rd gen, and they're making a 3rd gen remake right now, so if they want to remake the whole 3rd gen, then hey, go for, you know, a 3rd gen, 1st uh, gen remake. Because, I mean, if Sinnoh remakes are, you know, Sinnoh games were newer than the last, you know, 1st gen re uh, remake, so. Anyway, Pokeball and a Pokeball, yep, exactly. What time are you streaming until? Uh, I was saying it really depends. It, it really depends. Uh, I'm definitely going for at least an hour, which is, in about 20 minutes, it's going to be an hour. Uh, let me just finish this dialogue. Grr, you got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Aqua are also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go for today. Okay. Alright. He's gonna give us a great ball and call it, like, state-of-the-art technology. Uh, whew, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you this as my thanks. And oh, <gasps> uh, 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 I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. That's just like... Wow. That was out of nowhere. Holy shit. I thought it was going to be a great ball like it was in the originals. Wow. That is a high tech... De <laughs> Did I seriously just quote what he's going to say? <laughs> uh, the, the high tech device? I'll give it to you. That is pretty high tech. I just strain every fiber of my brain and body to develop that device. Turn the switch on and the battle experience will be... Oh, Pokemon. I don't know. Wow. And and you heal my Pokemon? Are you like... Wow. You are a god among men. Oh, man. Alright, so they're after something. He's like, oh, it's a crisis. Anyway, uh, I was saying uh, I'm going for at least an hour. And depending on a variety of things, depending on, you know, how many people are in the chat, 
the chat's active, the chat wants me to stream longer, if I want to stream longer if I'm having fun, and uh, all that stuff. And right now I'm having a lot of fun, the chat is very active. We only have 12 viewers, but you guys are all very active, which I love, so it's, it's keeping me alive here. And uh, I'm just having a ton of fun, so I can stream like 5 hours if I want, but I'll probably stream for another at least like hour. I like, I don't want to end though. <laughs> probably not going to want to end. Alright, so we got this XP share. I think it's off right now. I didn't even turn it on. I'll turn that on in a minute. But, uh, this Ninkata I feel like it's going to be a little annoying, so I think I might have to uh, switch. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to switch, because fuck it. <sighs> I'm not going to stall. Uh, will you stream Smash? Uh, yeah, sort of, maybe, not sure exactly. Um, it depends on how my livestream software can take it, because, uh, Mario Kart Wii was already somewhat shaky, and Smash might be a little out of reach. I could check my software. Let me check that right now, actually, since I'm not reading any dialogue or anything. I'm just doing some, you know, bug trainer battles. Nothing crazy. I'll check that right now, actually, uh, because my software comes with Stream Easy, which will probably be much lower quality and stuff. Um, sorry, I hear the audio, like, lagging right now, it's because I have stuff. Um, eh, maybe I'll do a test stream. I'll probably do a test stream. I can't do a Skype call. I definitely can't do a Skype call with it. Alright. And now it's all laggy. Give me one second here. Uh, I just have to exit out of that. Okay, yeah, now it's still laggy. Fantastic. Hold up. Let me just plug this back in. Probably shouldn't have checked that. What the bloody hell is going on? Okay, now it's good. I think we're good, right? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, it sounds good to me. <laughs> Sounds bad, let me know. Uh, will you stream Minecraft? Probably not! I don't have Minecraft on my computer. <laughs> I'm not a huge Minecraft fan. Uh, Super Smash Bros. 4, yes, the one for the Wii U. This, uh... Uh... This wonderful game right here. I have two videos up so far. One's a stage builder video, just introducing the game mode. And the other one is... Multi-Man Smash, Endless Smash. And then I have a third one going up, probably once I finish streaming, I'm just gonna public it right away. And that will be a event mode video. Uh, the videos are a little bit shorter than uh, the ones on my 4GG channel, but still a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, I have a... Uh, yeah, Peds broke the stream. <laughs> um, uh, Windows HP. I don't know if you're talking about me or whatever. I have a, I have a Windows 8, in case anyone's wondering. Yeah, I turn on my face cam every now and then. I need to show you something. Just why not? I will say though, not a lot of these home Pokemon are really wowing me right now. I haven't found any uh, ones that Mega Evolve, or at least or new ones that Mega Evolve. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but yes, my face. <laughs> Got a nice little cut, cut tree there. Don't really uh, care about that right now. What? Wow. Just as we're leaving, that is... That that got me out of nowhere. That, this is the Pedalberg Wrecking Team checking in. Checking in. <laughs> I, I'm afraid I have to begin with an apology, Mr. Map. It's not good news. The mission is a no-go. A little something cropped up uh, and got in the way. Roger that. Got it. Will do. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, I don't have an HP, though. I don't have an HP. I have uh, Cyber Power... Partially, well, it it's it was pre-built, but I did a lot of upgrades, so like sort of. Uh, anyway, I'll continue investigating that energy we detected. Um, what do I stream? I would say, let's say few, yeah, yeah. But that kid sure uh, had some promises to trainer, I'd say. So I guess we can leave now. Cool music. Sorry, I always have to pause when I enter a new route. I want to hear the music. Um. Wow, okay, I see you, Super Creeper. Thanks. Uh, I stream... I would say on this Twitch, because this is my only Twitch now, uh, I would say like 90% Pokemon, 10% etc. 
like Nintendo stuff. Uh, but that's not too often. It's mostly Pokemon. Like I was saying. All right, fantastic. Hello, Pikachu, bruh. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming out. Appreciate it. We saw this area back here? Yeah, we do. Anything cool? I think that you can find a Magnemite in here, actually. If I can find a Magnemite, I'm gonna fucking use it. No, Magnemite's... No, I found that in a randomizer. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> I don't even know what I was thinking. Maybe, maybe it is, but fuck, I don't even know. Let's see, what is it, anyway? It is a another fucking Wurmple. God damn it. I just have to bite the bullet and use the fucking uh, beautify. It's like, oh, it's in this game. Alright. I'm just gonna run away. And I am going to... Just, uh, first of all, I'm gonna save my game. In case anything shit happens. And... I think... This game is so much fun. Oh my god. I, I just, I'm having a jolly old time right now. <laughs> Love it. Uh, I am going to... No, I don't want to save again. Damn it. I want to go to my bag and check the XP share. Damn it. Uh, it is currently on. Because then it would ask to turn it on if it was off. Okie dokie. I'm going to check one more time to see if there's anything cool in here. And what the fuck is that? Slowly. Steady. 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 Ah! Alright, let's see what this is. It looks like a bundle bee, like the ears. Uh, and it's another fucking Warple, what the fuck? That is not what a Warple looks like. That looks like a fucking bundle bee. Yeah, I don't know if I would want a bundle bee either, but you know, fuck you. Fuck you, stupid Warple. That's like all that's in this game. Holy shit. <laughs> if the, if I have a, a, a fucking Mudkip and a shiny Belden right now, I would not be too happy with this Pokemon selection. <laughs> Although the beginning of the game is usually pretty shit with Pokemon selection anyway. Uh, it looks very nice in here. This is very colorful. I like it. Very colorful. I don't want to learn about them. Don't care. I'll take uh, the Whalmer Pal or whatever it's called. Uh, let's see. What Pokemon are you hoping to get? Uh, ones that have Mega Evolutions and badass Pokemon. <laughs> uh, select berries. That's cool. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. So, kind of cool. Area Nav. You can uh, check berries and stuff. If you want to click on that, you can zoom in. And you can check... Pokemon and shit, and, uh, trainers. And as well as berries if you plant them. So, uh, oh, there's trainers. I didn't mean to do that, but cool. Uh, yeah, berries are there, but they're not available because I didn't really plant any, so, yeah. Do you give me the whale repel? Uh, oh, wow. Oh, it's a chestal berry. That's for paralysis or confusion. I don't know. I forget. Uh, oh, well. You want some candy? Want some candy, little girl? <laughs> Uh, no, Josh, you didn't make it to the Pokemon in the grass. That Wurmple attacked you first. I made the same mistake at first. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Ugh. Alright. Well, anyway. Anyway! <laughs> anyway. Anyway. This sucks a suck. And my back, all of a sudden, I can't get comfortable. Even though I have a really fucking comfortable chair. Oh, man. Alright. Push through this, Josh. Push through this. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, that Pokemon's not there anymore. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it! <laughs> Alright. Uh, I kind of want to just get to... Rustboro. Guess we'll have to do that double battle. Welcome back, Pets 10. Return to battle Pokemon together. Alright, you're going to battle our Pokemon. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, excuse me. Alright, so these are some twins. I believe it's our first double battle of the game, which is cool. First double battle that I've played in Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire, for that matter. And, uh, we're, we're gonna see if we can, uh, wreck shit here, you know? See if we can wreck shit. Level 9's, uh, is it 9? Yeah. Everyone's level 9. Not bad at all. Uh, I guess I'll go for Tackle with the Mudkip. I don't really have much better. Absorb, no. Huh. Something nice about this now, uh, with this game, though, um, is that I can get those trade evolution Pokemon. Pokemon like Abra and uh, Macho uh, Machop, or for that matter, Machoke. Uh, all of them I can uh, I can catch because now I can actually like trade evolve them. Like, whenever you're playing on an emulator, it's so annoying. You're always you're always so restricted and it sucks. <laughs> uh, so, you know, yeah, that's a thing. Team Alpha, Team Omega. Uh, I'm, I'm on Team Soul. You guys, I'm on Team Soul. <laughs> all right. I have like a 
itch on my back. I don't know if it's an itch or an ache or something. I don't know. Stop bugging me. <laughs> I'm gonna check if anyone did tweet out the stream. If you guys do want to tweet it out, tag me at the fourth gen gamer. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Mudkip picking up a level. That's cool. This is a very fun stream. I love this. This is like a once in a lifetime experience. Playing this game here for the first time. It's always awesome, just playing the game for the first time, it really is, it's like nothing else. You really can't compare, you know. And I'm so glad, so glad that I can play it for you guys, and especially live, that really is, truly really awesome. It really feels good inside, you know. Anyway, uh, we're almost done here. Almost done with this double battle, a little annoying, but, you know, we still have like, I think one or two battles down below. I just want to get to Rustboro, heal up my Pokemon, save, and then go back. So, Wonder Trading Pincers, not bad. I should start recording some randomized Wonderlock right now. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, I'm so disappointed that we lost. It sucks to suck. Blah, 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 blah. And cool. Alright. Awesome. Thank you, everybody that's here, for being so active in the chat. You don't know really how much it makes a difference. I always say this. Uh, wow, this looks beautiful in here. And, hey, there's me. Uh, so, you made it here to a Rustboro too, Josh? Yes, we did. Wow. So beautiful. It's really big here, isn't it? Little Root can't even compare. It really is nice here. Hey, there's the first gym. Oh, and Josh, have you heard? There's a Pokemon gym here, too. Not bad. Uh, yeah, X and Y are connected in Wonder Trade. Uh, once I catch a couple more Pokemon, I'll be able to take it on with my team. See you later. But anyway, uh, I must say, though, I'd much rather have eight people and have a really active chat to interact with than 60 people and, like, have a dead-ass chat. Um, you know, it's more likely that, you know, the six people will, uh, the 60 people will chat a little bit more, but it, it's, it's so nice when there's an active chat. You guys are really awesome. So anyway, we're gonna heal up our Pokemon here. Uh, I guess we're gonna read some dialogue and stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna read it out loud, I'm just gonna check if there's any items, some TMs, Mega Stones, anything like that. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess I'm a school kid. Sure, I don't know. Uh, what's up, Baldy? What up, Baldy? What up, Baldy? Uh, Alright, bug catcher. I find that weird. Why is there just a random bug trainer in the Pokemon Center? And he's just like, he has his net out and everything. Like, I find that so weird. Alright, anyway. Let's. This is the cutter's house. He has two cut trees. It's so obvious. Can I have cut? Can I have cut? Can I have cut? That's term and expression. That limber way you move. And you're well trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say the word. I can tell by just looking at you, I'm sure that you'll be capable of putting this HM to use. Uh, no need to be monster shy. Go on and take it! Thank you for cut. Bitch, I'm a HM01 you. In the words of JPP. <laughs> Make sure you guys do go check out everyone else in the Fat Five in there. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire series, it really is a pleasure to work with them as a team. And uh, we're going all out with Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Mixing up with the streams and the random order trades and everything like that. It's, it's awesome. So anyway, let's see. Oh, who might you be? You're a new face around these parts. You have you just transferred. Blah, 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 blah. Have you just transferred from trainer school? <laughs> uh, all right, I'm just going to kind of walk around and see if there's any like you know little hidden nuggets, you know, anything cool in these buildings. Maybe there's a gift Pokemon, gift uh, item or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see. The building houses many employees of Devon. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I was always used to getting the XP share in Devon after you deliver the letter to, like, Steven. So, it's very different to get it this early. Anyway, uh, my dad's a real ace in the Devon Corporation. I'll have you know. It's no wonder I'm an ace myself. Here, I'll give you something that an ace like me uses. A float stone. I don't know what that does. <laughs> if you have Pokemon that hold a float stone, it's way will be halved. Although it looks like it'll be a while before you can uh, use something like this as well as I can. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, see, that's the thing. I guess they do have random items and stuff. That's kind of cool. And a premier ball. Wow. So, going to the buildings, it looks like it's worth it. And if it's worth it in one city, it's probably worth it in all the cities. So, you can expect me going in all these little buildings, all the little nooks and crannies, and, you know, putting in that work. See if we get anything cool. And, used to be a teeny tiny company, Devon. Devon's a pretty awesome uh, company, though. I'm not even going to lie. Do all that fossil restoration, all those cool Pokeballs. You know. You know it, guys. You know it. Was this like a research chef? <laughs> Devon's president likes to collect rare stones. Oh, thank you. That was very informative. 
Uh, didn't someone say that president's son looks to... Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Stones and shit. Uh, you need a second team member. Go get that shiny beldum, though. I love shiny beldum. Wait, what the fuck? Uh, hello? <laughs> what the fuck? What the? Whoa, 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 whoa! That was just Nate's trainer. What the? What the? Uh, am I going crazy? I'm going crazy. I am going crazy. Okie dokie. All right. Uh, <laughs> that was odd. Uh, <laughs> Okie dokie. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, with my Pokemon. Blah blah blah. Who cares? Peace out, bitch. Cool. I don't know if there's much out here uh, that's not in a building, but we're going to investigate, see if there's anything cool. Hey, this guy's a nice little skirmish. Uh, cool nicknames. Nicknames aren't bad. Nicknames ain't bad. Hey, skirmish! Uh, but giving the nickname Pikachu to a skirmish doesn't seem right. Although I do understand the importance of giving a familiar nickname to your Pokemon. Oh, man. Four pincers. Wow. All right, now let's check out the the panning out of this. Westboro City, the city probing the integration of nature and science. What? Oh, it, it's probably because we saw it with May. We saw it zoom out with May. We we're talking to her. Oh well. Huh. It did look pretty sweet though. It did look pretty sweet when it did. And this is the trainer school, I believe, right? Yep, it is. This would be the trainer school. <laughs> this music. This is very nice. Uh, Quick Claw. Ooh, Quick Claw. Now, this is why I gotta go places. Quick Claw in the trainer school. Quick Claw in the trainer school. Come on now. That just isn't bad. Quick Claw is a very useful item for any Pokemon. Uh, it doesn't take into effect too often, but every now and then it'll make the Pokemon go first, which can be very useful. Sweet! Go into all the buildings, guys. Talk to everybody. It can be beneficial. Quick claw at the beginning of the game before the first gym. That's fucking sweet. And the float stone, whatever that thing does. <laughs> Halves your weight. You have anything good? I like all the backpacks next to the desk. Oh, the little details are truly, truly phenomenal. The great thing about remakes is that they don't have to like work too much. I mean, they have to work on like story a little bit, maybe modify it a little bit. But uh, they can really focus a lot on the little details and what makes really what makes a a good game great. You know, really. So. That's cool, we got the Quick Claw. Wow. I feel really engaged to kind of just like talk to everybody now. I don't know if they just did that at the beginning of the game to kind of make you want to do that, but it's it's working. That's their goal. <laughs> Okie dokie. Anything cool in here? This is, uh, looks like it's two floors maybe? Uh, it does. Give me something cool, give me something cool. Yep, the detector mode. Yep, if you encounter a Pokemon uh, more often, then it, I don't know, can appear m more often, I guess, or something, I don't know. I think, like, more rare Pokemon can appear. Something like that. No, no way, I don't want to share a room with my little brother. I'm a grown-up woman. Yeah, all right, whatever you say. Time really flies when I'm doing housework. Perhaps I should hire a Pokemon housekeeper. All right, yeah, use it like a slave, like we use the fucking... What's his name? Machoke. As a slave. <laughs> At the beginning of our, uh... Beginning of our journey here. All right, so I got those houses, those houses, those houses. Don't think I got this house. Let's, uh, check out what they have to offer here. Can I, like, talk to him when I'm sitting? No, I guess I can't. Love that I can sit, though. <laughs> cool, that's ability. And, uh... Nope, nothing in here. Let's check what's up here. What up? Oh, it's just so hard. What's hard? Do you need to ask? Planning meals every day. It's hard to come up with different ideas day after day. Oh, I thought you were going to give me fucking leftovers. <laughs> Alright, so nothing in that house. Useless. Useless. All right, so we we're making a good sweep through this uh, town here. I want to get every little nook and cranny of it, besides like dowsing machine type of stuff that you can't see. Yeah, fire types you will not be good for this gym. And were we in here? Yes, we were in here. We were in here already. Sweet. Yeah, there are way too many. Wormples in this game. Oh, there you are, you fucking age trainer. I've taken on a Pokemon dream yet. Once you get a shiny gym badge in your hand, that's when you really start to feel like a trainer. 
Yeah, probably, probably is, man. Probably is. Okie doke. Okie doke. What's up, dude? In all sorts of places, there are all sorts of Pokemon and people. I find that fascinating. It inspires me to go to all sorts of places. That's cool. What do you have to say? Do you think your Pokemon? Yeah, cool. Alright, bye. Uh, no. If you want to trade uh, Ma for Makahita, there you go. There's your opportunity. I'm going to go and tweet out the stream, make sure people are aware of what we're doing. And I'm going to go and Devon in a little bit. I want to catch another Pokemon, though. I want to add some Pokemon to my team. Alright. Just tweeting out the stream right now. Sweet. If you guys are enjoying, make sure you tweet out the stream, spread the word, and uh, I might end the stream probably maybe in like, uh, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes. Maybe after have to repeat the gym. We'll see. Devon Corporation, it's kind of a mouthful. So when you say Devon, and uh, the company makes all sorts of convenient products. Cool. What's up here? Route 115. Is there some grass here? There wasn't in the original, but maybe in this one they added it. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I'll keep keep poking my head around, though. You battle? Uh, no, she's talking about caves and stuff. And we can't even, like, go and find, like, a good rod or an old rod for this type of deal. Even if we wanted, like, a Magikarp or something, we already have a Mudkip, so fuck that anyway. Alright, uh, grab that. That is a nice little zinc. Zinc. Sweet. Alright, so nothing really uh, exciting for us over here at the moment. Uh, later on we'll be here when we uh, come around from Meteor Falls, I believe. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and catch another Pokemon. I kind of want to add something to the team right now. And what's this now? Time-saving tunnel near completion. That's what it says in the sign, but there's also a big X. Splashed across it in red paint. Huh. That, that's very interesting, actually. Huh. That kind of leaves me a little curious right now. <laughs> we got a repel, that's cool. Don't mind a good repel. Tail, that's something a little different. Yeah, Peds, I remember you're with me right now. Alright. Let's see. And it's a Zigzagoon. Oh my god, I swear all that's in this game is Poochiana, Zigzagoon, and Wurmple. Jesus. Oh man, at least like a, I don't know, a Machop or something different. Uh, we can't even... <laughs> can't run away, come on. Really? I really would just like to run away now. Finally. Not cool. Alright. Uh, that is a skitty. Uh, do I want- Oh, fuck. I went way too fast. I did not mean to do that. Oh, well. So we got this youngster dude over, I guess. Uh, thank you, Pikachu, bro. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, I'm kind of curious, actually, since you came to my stream, uh, like, but you weren't up to my channel. Uh, how did you find out about the stream? Was it on Twitter, or was it on Twitch, or, you know, did you look up the game, Alpha Sapphire, and see that I was streaming? I'm just kind of curious, you know. It's always good to find out how people find you, do a little self-evaluation. So, uh, if you can let me know, I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome that you're doing some wonder trades as well. It's good stuff. Alright, uh, so this Belgium is about to go to level 10, which is kind of bad for us, because apparently it will disobey us. Which would really just suck. <laughs> because, uh, it's just, yeah. We're gonna try and beat this gym soon enough, so uh, hopefully that'll raise the obeying level. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna use that Iron Head. Do some nice damage. Cool deal. And, yeah, we're gonna roll level 10. Oh well. What are you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Mudkip got a nice level there as well, and now we have him a chop. Ah, you know, what? throw down a nice Zen head, but nice and OP. Nice and OP, and that cry did not sound like a chop for some reason. I don't know if I'm just crazy. That did not sound like a chop to me. And that should, yeah, one hit it. Got the stab. Got the two temps for effective. I'll take it. Cool, yo. Not bad. All right. So we're done with that. I'm done with that. And now I would like to take a walk around and find a fucking Pokemon that's not. Uh, doesn't rhyme with Zigzagoon, Wurmple, or Poochyena. Damn it. Even Poochyena would be kind of welcoming right now, I'm not even gonna lie. But Poochyena still, I've seen too many of them. 
uh, he found us at Twitch, and I said how much watch this. You know, that's good. That's good. I like it. I like it. It's good shit. Good shit right there. Hokey dokey. Uh, right when I start into the first gym. Okay, that's not good. Mm, I think I'm gonna switch into my mud kit for now. That would be a good idea. Alright. I think we're going to defeat the first gym, and uh, I'm gonna do everything before then as well. And then we will end up the episode. That'll be the best idea. <sighs> Alright, so now this is a last. She has one Pokemon, it's a Meryl. And now I switch. Yeah, of course. Once I switch. Yeah, that's when this shit happens. Uh, ooh, is Meryl fairy? Yeah, Meryl is fairy. Uh, it's partially fairy, so we can just use a nice iron head on it. But shit, why did I switch out? Damn it. Alright, so now the, now the bell might not listen to us. Fucking sucks. Oh well. Shit happens, right? Shit happens. Was that water sport? So fire type moves, we don't, we don't even have any. So, uh, doesn't even matter. Uh, rollout? I'm not too concerned. Yeah, there we go. That literally did, like, nothing. That was one damage. One HP. Alright, so the Iron Head should... Wow, didn't even... Didn't do a lot. Alright. Luckily, it's still obeying me. After that first term... Unless I got really lucky all of a sudden. And let's see. Alright, it's listening to me pretty decent so far. I am just crossing my fingers. Really just crossing my fingers at this moment. Alright, uh, yeah, so three turns in a row it obeyed me. That's a really good sign. Hopefully, uh, there aren't any issues. Maybe after level 10. Yeah, it's probably after level 10. Like right now. Yay! Fuck yeah. That's just fantastic. Wake up level 12, and damn, I need to start getting together a team, because I'm like, uh, I don't know. I like another Pokemon, but there's really no variety right now. Hmm. See, Pikachu, bro, thank you for coming out to the stream. Maybe I'll catch a Zubat and get a nice Crobat, because I mean, fuck. Crobat's pretty sweet. I haven't used one of those in uh, ages, it feels like. I've only used it like a few times, too. I think I might go for that. Yeah, Zigzagoon, I'm sorry, gonna have to pass on. I couldn't get away from a Zigzagoon? What the fuck? Mudkip? Wow. Alright then. <laughs> I think I might go for, yes, I'm gonna resort to a Zubat. Because, you know, just that guy. Like the music, I like it, I like it, I like it. That's good stuff right there. I don't even know what that was. It sounded like a, sort of like a horn. I don't know exactly. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna finish off everything before the gym. Do the gym itself, wreck shit, and then uh, we're gonna call it an episode. And that'll be fun. We'll have another one of these up somewhat soon tonight as well. I'm hoping. See you, Pikachu, bro. Thank you for coming out to the stream. Appreciate it, and thank you for the sub as well. Another Geo, dude. Hell, oh, saying. Feel a little more comfortable with that OPXP share. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be like that for the rest of the Pokemon, just like every Pokemon game from this point, or if it's just a 6th gen thing, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so. Of course it has Sturdy. Why would it not have Sturdy? Flappy Bird. That is a great name for a Taylor. That is perfect right there, Peds. I like it. I like it a lot. Good stuff. Alright, so. We might even get a Marsh Stomp this episode, depending on how much we use this Mudkip here. We might just get one. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Does Marshop have new art? Or, because I know the Mudkip art is new, the one I have right now. Uh, I think it's the same. Yeah, it's the same art. Swampert may be different, though. No, Swampert is the same, except for obviously Mega. Oh, bad, though. The music is very beautiful. Uh, I also, I don't know if you just entered Barbara, but uh, thank you for uh, joining the stream. I didn't say that. I don't know if uh, I just forgot. Or, you know, just didn't say anything. Okay, so now we're in Rust Earth Tunnel, and I'm going to probably catch a nice Zubat because I kind of want, uh, I want a Crobat. I do, uh, I do want one of those. Uh, this is a Wizmer. Not what we're looking for, but we're going to aim for a Zubat. Yes, I'm going to catch one because uh, Crobat is worth the wait. Crobat is definitely worth the wait. Fun Pokemon. Fun Pokemon to use. Got an item over here. I like it. It's like this. The graphics right now. This it's kind of like misty-ish, kind of like a smog, I guess. I don't know. It's very nice though. I like it. 
And then we have uh, Rock Smash over here, right? Oh, this is much deeper. Wow. Much, much deeper. Than the original. Uh, another Rizmer. That variety, though. Yeah, I, I will say, if there's one major complaint about the game, uh, that I have about the game so far, is that there is very... Not a big Pokemon selection whatsoever. Uh, really, there's not a wide variety at all. It's very slim pickings. Uh, but other than that, every other aspect of this game right now is really phenomenal. Like, I've went, I've gotten three Wismers so far. Three out of three times, I got Wismer. That's just not cool. It's not like it's even like a great Pokemon. Like, X1 did a great job of incorporating all these badass Pokemon. But, like, uh, Wismer? Come on. I just want a Zubat. That's not even asking for a lot. A Zubat in the cave. Like, really? That's my expectations for you. Come on now. That's another Wismer. What the fuck? <sighs> Alright. I guess we're not catching a Zubat, because apparently Zubats aren't in caves anymore, since fucking pigs can fly. I guess pigs can fly in this game. Damn it. Hmm. Come on now. Come on, Zubat. And it's another fucking Wismer! This is- this is terrible. This is terrible. Yeah, it might be the only Poke in that cave. That is what I'm talking about. That is poor Pokemon selection. That is disappointing. Hmm. Alright. Sucks. Suck, I guess. Alright, so we have an item over here, right? Like, glasses or something? That's a special attack. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, so it only has Wismer, apparently. Alright. I'll live with it. That's a place that we could have secret base. Super secret base! If uh, we have secret power. That's cool. Oh, man. Got this little cut area. Alright. Uh, you want to dig that tunnel? Cool, cool, cool. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Is there anything cool here? And it's another Zigzagoon! What the fuck? That is some serious bull right there. That is some serious bull. Like, I haven't seen anything unique so far. It's all Zigzagoons and Warples and, uh, like, Wismer. Shit. That, that cave literally only had fucking Wismer. Oh, well. Like I said, though, every other aspect of this really is phenomenal, this game. But the Pokemon selection definitely could have been better. Uh, I mean, if IJM is going to complain about something, shut the fuck up about the water. Start addressing the Pokemon selection, because all you can find are fucking Wurmple and Zigzagoon in this game. I don't know. And they're saying that it was unbalanced for water types. Like, calm the fuck down. Come on now. Maybe, maybe it gets better. It was kind of, it was definitely not too good at the beginning of the normal or uh, for being Sapphire. There wasn't a great variety, but this is their chance to fix it. You know, add those new Pokemon. So I guess we don't have many new Pokemon. I'm not sure exactly, but I think it's the same Hoenn Dex as uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Well, anyway, I don't know why I'm sounding so negative. I don't want to sound negative. I'm just stating my opinion. But, alright, cool. Mudkip's level 13. That's really chill. I like that. Uh, Ninkata. Partial ground type. I think we'll benefit from using a water gun. That's only level 7. It's already, like, OP. <laughs> And the trainer has your sister's name. Wow, you are famous, man. Famous. Uh, your sister's a Pokemon trainer. I'm jelly. I'm jelly. Okay, now it's just a Silcoon. Silcoon's a little annoying, but you know. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> that sprite, though. <laughs> Something about that sprite just looks like so derpy. Oh my god. Really derpy. Huh. I mean, it, it died pretty quickly. Wow, that's... Looks a little more like a cocoon than it actually was in uh, Ruby Sapphire, though, I must say. Didn't move at all, but, you know, I guess that's kind of expected. I don't think I really saw that uh, sprite in X and Y. Didn't, never really saw a Cascoon. I don't know why I would have. Or a Silcoon, for that matter. Alright. Cool beans. Cool beans, as they would say. And, oh, that was a crit that I actually got. I'm watching over my replay. And another Wismer! What the fuck? 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 Ugh. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Why do they have so little variety? Like, I'm not even finding Kata here. Like, what the fuck, man? Ugh. 
Like, what do I even do right now? Okay, uh... I guess I am going to go down here now. Because there are some trainers that I skipped down here. I'm not forgetting about them. I am going to battle them now. Extra training. And uh, check out the wild grass. I'm actually going to talk to you first. I'll keep it a secret. I'm the water Pokemon expert. Huh, you don't know me? Uh, I guess I do now. I guess I do now. So this is Fisherman Ivan, or Ivan, and he has a Magikarp. Oh yes, the master at Magikarp training. We sent out our Mudkip. I think I'm just going to use Tackle. I don't know if Water Gun's going to do a whole ton of damage. But yeah, level 7. Tackle should be safe bet. And how's the attack burst? What the fuck? That makes zero sense. Alright, we can't even one hit it. Can't one hit it. I'm going to rage. I'm going to rage, guys. And there's a nice quick claw. There we go. You see, it takes into effect every now and then. Not too often, but hey, it's better than nothing. It's, I mean, we wouldn't have been holding anything in the first place. So, you know. Yeah, it's Magikarp guy. Uh, oh, well. Yeah, this guy all is going to have is fucking Magikarp. Alright. And we can't even, like, one-hit them. Jesus. Ugh. Oh, Alright. It's going to be a long battle. Even though it's only three Pokemon. It's going to be a lot longer. Oh, man. Alright. Anyway, guys, if you're interested in uh, Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U, and all the coverage for that as well, uh, yeah, Magikarp uses Hyper Beam. Oh, man. But uh, I do want to let you guys know, as I mentioned before, I do have... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'll try out Belden. That's probably a good opportunity to do that. Uh, I do want to let you guys know that on my second channel, Juniper Gaming, J-U-N-I-P-E-R Gaming, uh, I'm doing full coverage of that as well. I'm doing uh, videos on that pretty often. Uh, and I really... I'm trying hard, so I want you guys to know about that. If you're interested, I'll uh, type it in to the chat thing. You can look it up on YouTube, and I've posted two videos so far, and I'm posting one right after I'm done streaming, because it's already done. I'm just, uh, you know... I just don't want to post it while I was streaming or right before I was streaming. Didn't think that would be a good idea. But anyway, uh, let's see. Is this build I'm going to obey us? That is the question. Uh, it obeyed us for this. It obeyed us for that. So that's good. That is good. That's definitely not a bad sign. Sweet. Alright, so I thought it wasn't bad, if I may say so, but I guess not. Blah. Alright, so we get some nice pokey dollars, and I think I'm just gonna save the game just in case, because, you know, shit happens. Good idea to save often, and, uh... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> um... Yeah, my bad. Uh, you know, we haven't saved in, uh, I don't know. I guess a decent amount of time. We have a few trainers here as well now. Should I or shouldn't I? Ah, okay, sure, I will battle. Isn't that just fantastic? So we got this lass. Her name is Haley. Same name as my dog. <laughs> and she has a low tat, and I'm assuming the other one will probably be, uh, C dot. A little counterpart going on there. And we got Mudkip. Mudkip. And this is a level 6, oh man. Yeah, because this is a little farther back, so the levels might be a little lower, a little easier for me. I do want to do all the battles, though. So, that's good. Alright. One more Pokemon. And it is a Shroomish. I was not expecting that at all, actually. I really was not. Alright, so we're going to test out this Beldum at all. And... Nature also has an influence? I don't know if Nature has to do that. Maybe it does, but... I don't think so. Uh, we'll give it another try, though. Maybe I just got lucky there. Let's see. And, yep, nope. Mine's not obeying me. <laughs> Mine is not obeying me. poop de doop Pretending not to notice. Oh, uh, you're not going to obey. Thank you. Thank you, Beldum. You are truly a loyal Pokemon. Oh, man. <laughs> ah, fun. You just listen to me once, Beldum. I got really lucky that other time, I guess. And, oh, you avoid... Oh, come on now. Fighting the attack, that ain't cool. That ain't cool, though. Alright, eventually we'll... It'll obey us after we get some more gym badges. This better one hit it, or else I'll be a little annoyed. Wow! <laughs> now we have to wait again. And the absorb... Oh, no. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. Okay, so Bellum does not obey us. And that just sucks to suck, I guess. Yeah... Alright. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Alright. You know what? Fuck everything anyway. <laughs> Alright. 
wow, the leech seed, the absorb, everything just at, and one is just like painful right now. Oh man. Alright. I guess we'll use our little mudkip here. Because, you know, don't know if we have really a better option. You're in charge, Mudkip. Come through. Tackle. Ha. Fuck you, tackle. Oh, that was a crit. I was gonna say, it's a little more than I thought it would. Alright, tackle. Better fucking... Better fucking wreck this thing. It's almost at half, so... There. Oh, what the fuck? Come on! Wow! Uh, let's see. Landerer says, I had to be Roxanne with Beldum and Larvitar disobeying me the whole time, so it was more difficult than it had to be. Ouch, that sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Definitely does make it a lot tougher when they don't obey you. <laughs> When they don't listen to what you t uh, what uh, you tell them, it's it's rough. All right, so we're about to have this mudkip evolve though, so that's kind of cool. And oh, the poison! Come on, the hax gods are not with me right now. They really are not. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna get a nice March Tom pretty soon, whether it's at the end of this stream or beginning of next stream. But wow, that is just annoying as all hell right there. I'm gonna go heal up, cause fuck, one's paralyzed, one's poisoned, and fuck the world apparently. Okie doke. We're gonna heal up. We're going to go uh, finish off the route down below. We have one more trainer, and I want to take a look at the wild Pokemon there and see if there's anything cool there. Of course, there's probably not, though. It's gonna be, you know, Wurmple, Zigzagoon. Probably not Wismer. I don't know if it's uh, too far back for Wismer, but shit. Shit, man. Alright. We'll switch out of uh, his Mudkip out front. Okay, good. Bellum's an unreliable fuck right now. Mudkip solo run. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this shit. I have been able to find like nothing good. Hopefully that can change. I really do hope that can change. I'm gonna play Smash Elf Sapphire and watch this at the same time. That is awesome. Thank you, man. Coming in the clutch there. That's phenomenal. Thank you for watching, man. Oh, what's that now? Nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. Nice, slow, steady, steady, yeah. All right, all right, all right, is this it? Is that it, is that it, is that it? Right, that's a Zigzagoon, I don't know if that's the one that we're sneaking up on. Uh, it might be, I think it is. But I am going to, I'm gonna run away, and, wow, I can't get away, what the hell, man? What the hell? I lived in a free country. Run. What the hell, man? Is that the one that was making the noise? It might have been. Alright, let's just use a water gun. Fuck this. Hey, even if you're not just playing, uh, if you're just doing Smash and watching the stream, you are still the real MVP, I'll tell you that much. Alright, so water gun. Come on. Nothing little fuck. You know, I'm gonna catch this thing because I'm gonna need it as an HM bitch. I'm not gonna put it in the layout because it's really not a part of our team, but uh, it's just gonna be part of the party uh, as a possible pickup Pokemon if it does have that. And as well as its main purpose will be uh, facil facilitating the HMs, which is cool. Nope, wasn't it? Okay, cool. That makes me happy then. That makes me a happy person. All right, let's just keep walking slowly, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have Ziggy going on the team. Not in the layout because it's not part of our team exactly. I'm not going to battle with it. But it will be a nice little HM slash pickup bitch. Hopefully it has, uh, hopefully it has pickup. It doesn't that's okay, but, you know, it's a really good HM Pokemon. And either the other Pokemon scared off, or that was it, the Zigzagoon. Alright, so let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I thought that had the exclamation point. Alright, so here's another Wurmple. Because the game says, fuck you, we're getting you Wurmples up the ass. And I'm going to give it one more try. One more try. I really want a Pokemon that's not Wurmple. That would be such a pleasure. I mean, if not, then I'm just going to have fucking HM, bitch. And then that's, that's that. Boring. Uh, does that pick up though? It does not. It has a gluttony. Oh well. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Alright, so we go into our bag. Let's just teach a uh, cut to our dude here, Zigzava. Zigzagoom. Uh, the Pokemon you're sneaking up on won't be there though. Gotta start over. Uh, oh well. Sucks to suck. Oh well. Alright, so we have Zigzagoon. In the party, not really part of the team, but, you know, it's a thing, I guess. 
Uh, let's see if we can find something cool, though. And it's a six. You know what? 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 Uh. I go Ruby. Route. I am going to check what route we are on, and uh, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to see what Pokemon are available. I doubt that there's a... I doubt that the guide's available for that yet, exactly. Um, route 104, though. That's what we're on. Uh, Alright. That would be on... Ooh, Maryland has something with that. That's pretty cool. Wow. Maryland come through. Um, yeah, so you know, Wonkle makes up the majority of all this. What a pain. It's pale bar. Wait, sorry guys, I'm just uh, I'm taking a look at what's available uh, in the grass and whatnot in Route 104. Let's see, you have Zigzagoon, Wurmple, Talo, and Wingle. Now, Wingle's rare, and Talo is uncommon. So, <laughs> it's pretty much no variety at all. You have Rustboro City. Wow, Maryland did a very good job of typing up this walkthrough. Phenomenal. If you guys are looking for uh, just a written walkthrough and everything, he really uh, he did a bang-up job. He really did. Good stuff. Uh, did I battle you? No, I did not. So we have this one more battle, then we're going to do the gym, and we're going to call it a stream. That's good. Get done the first gym badge and everything before that, and I'm, I'm excited for that. This whole playthrough, it's not going to be all live, but I will do some of them live. I might do tomorrow live as well, uh, with a couple non-live in between, sandwiched in between. Uh, but yes, this series will not be all live, but they will have some live streams scattered in there. Originally, I was planning on doing an Alpha Sapphire playthrough all live streams. I'm like, ah, I'm gonna mix it up. Why not? A little live, a little not live, you know. Shake it up. So, uh, this Tail Whip. Don't give a shit about your Tail Whip. I ain't taking it. What a gun, bitch. Yeah, take that. Take that. Sweet. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna have this Beldum chill with us. I don't even know. <laughs> we'll unlock the trade levels and stuff and bullshit as we go. So now we're good to go for the gym, I believe. Uh, that's Yeah, we're all good to go. And I know there's a, a cut tree like on the route to the right that we could use it on and like do some more training and stuff. But I'm just going to defeat the gym and then we're just going to call it after that. We'll do anything else next episode. Not live, I think. <laughs> what do you do after the first gym? I'm grinding now. Now I forgot. Probably. Oh, shit. I forgot. This is a completely new design. Wow. Uh, you go down to, like, uh, Mr. Briny, if it's the same as Ruby Sapphire, or you have to go to the right and help the, the Devon guy. Uh, anyway, here's Roxanne, she says, hello, you must be a new challenger, I am Roxanne, Rustboro City Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply in battle all that I've learned at the Pokemon Trainer School. If you defeat me in a ba uh, Pokemon battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge, I look forward to seeing you as a challenger. Until then, farewell. Alright. Cool looking gym. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You got the Kabutops. That's pretty nice. And then the Lelip, too. The Lelip has a little, uh, it's like eyes are glowing. That's awesome right there. So we have this trainer. I'm just gonna do the battles, because that's, uh, it's worth it. A little bit of extra training, even though we're already OP. I say I don't mind. I don't mind it at all. Youngster Josh. Hey, it's me. He has a Geodude. He's gonna get destroyed. I, I'm the... The veteran Josh, who has a mudkip, knows what he's doing. Stupid Josh right there. Uh, and this is level 7, oh man. This gym's going to get absolutely destroyed. Demolished. Just, uh... Wrecked. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is fucking sturdy. Yeah! Fuck you, sturdy. Starting to get, starting to get ready to lay out for Marsh Tomp, so, uh, there's not a huge amount of time. In between when I get it and when it's in the layout. Oh crap, what did I just do? I just deleted all the belt and pictures on my layout. You guys can't see, I'm just doing some offline stuff right now. Or not offline, but not on the stream. Yeah, Muck Up Gorilla 15. We're probably gonna get a Marsh Tom by the end here. Yeah, all right. Cool, 15. Beldum level 13. Kind of want that thing to grow anymore. <laughs> I'll keep the XP share on for now, but it's tough.
Okay. Nice water gun. You're gonna have your fucking sturdy bullshit. And we'll have a fun time. I am sure of it. Well, I got my marsh dump all lined up ready to go. So we need the layout. We'll be all good to go. And those oh, Zigzagoons are getting some levels too. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna give up on Sand Attack. Fuck that shit, yo. Uh, here we go. Alright, see you, youngster Josh. Sorry, bruh. Sorry, man. Fellow Josh. You were too good for me. Yeah, I know. You're fucking scrub ass. Geo dude. That's what we even call it. Okay. Uh, we got some ledges there, some, like, mining equipment. I like this. Some fossils. That is really awesome. Do they have descriptions or anything? A lot of fossils. Okay, so, so some vague descriptions, but descriptions nonetheless. Alright. Let's get this nice marsh top going here. And this is Youngster Tommy. Youngster Tommy. Youngster Tommy. Uh, I looked away for my, for my DS. For five seconds, and when I looked back, Taylor was kick, uh, killed by a Zigzagoon. Oh, man. Tough break. Oh, man. Alright. So, this Geodude... These Geodudes get so destroyed by Water Gum, but their sturdy is what keeps them alive. Barely! Uh, thank God they don't have self-destruct at this level, or else I would just be fucked. And I think we can just go right into the gym without even healing. I'm just gonna say fuck it. Try it out, you know. Why not? Why not? Alright, so we're not gonna be able to evolve before the gym, but after, I would say we're definitely going to evolve. Pretty confident in that. Uh, is there one more trainer? Uh, yes, there is, so we may be able to get more stomp. Actually, I thought that was the last one. Cool deal. Alright, so this is School Kid Georgia, because you gotta remember that the kind of the, the theme of this gym is like everyone's from the trainer school. You know, Roxanne's a graduate from the trainer school and she's that's what she's repping right now. The shitty shitty rock types. <laughs> uh yeah, no, we're probably not gonna get a Marsh Tom still, because it's stupid Stupid Geo dude. Doesn't give that much. And oh shit, that did not have sturdy. Huh. Okay. And hey, Rel T to Princess, welcome back to the stream. I'm not gonna be streaming for much longer, but Welcome back, and thank you for coming back. <laughs> Alright, so now we have the gym leader. We're gonna see how we do here. I'm not even gonna go heal up. I think we're pretty good to go. See how this works out for us. <laughs> Look at that. Love that. Welcome boot tops. Perfect. Not little. Big. Big ass boot tops. Alright. Just as I expected, I knew you and your Pokemon would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you would battle with your Pokemon? Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? So, we are going to face up against Roxanne. Oh, nice little background there. Sweet. And, uh... Oh, so that, is, that ends up being what the battle looked like. Uh, I, I thought that like that was kind of like a prototype or whatever with like the green outline. Like, they would actually put the badge in there, but I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, she has a Geodude. Probably with Sturdy, just to dick around and shit. Because, you know, fuck the person playing the game. That's always fun. 4GG getting them level. Yeah, honestly, for the first time playing a game, I like especially if it's a playthrough, a casual playthrough, I don't care. I'll be as overleveled as shit as I want. Uh, if it's like a, if it's a lock, that's when you know I'll still use it uh, to its full extent. But uh, you know that's because it, it's supposed to be harder, like a Nuzlocke or a Wonderlock, you know. But yeah, I don't give a shit. It's my first time playing. I'll do what I want. <laughs> I'm not saying it like you're criticizing me. I'm just saying in general, I don't really care. I'm just being OP and shit. I love it. And, oh, you dick. Alright, whatever. I'm still gonna destroy you. Still gonna destroy you. Alright, I think from now we should be able to evolve, but, uh, if not, we still have, uh, that nose pass we need to defeat. And, oh, yep, that is good enough, actually. Monkey Brew level 16. Cool stuff, cool stuff. And Zigzagoon also picks up a level. And now it's just the nose pass. Nose pass can be a little bit annoying. Not gonna lie, it doesn't, uh, it does take hits pretty well, but, uh, I think we're looking pretty good right now. Use that nice water gun. I think we should be able to probably two hit it. I think two hits will be uh, reasonable. I would say one hit, but it also has uh, sturdy, and that wouldn't have been affected by sturdy. So now, what's that? That's rock throw, I think that was. And that lowers our speed. Ooh, that can be a little dangerous. Uh, oh, it only used tackle. Tackle's not going to do nearly as much as rock throw. Or rock tomb, that's what it was. My bad, rock tomb. But uh, noise bus is going to get wrecked. 
And I think we're about to get a nice little march tomp. Which is cool beans. Very cool beans. Let's get that marsh tomp though. Fucking love marsh tomp. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I was just lying. I, I just said. I, I meant to say that because it's one step closer to the amazing swamper. Marsh tomp is like, eh. It's like it's a step in between. It's like that weird puberty stage. It's like all starter mid evolutions. Like I don't think many people love uh, the mid star evolutions. Like some of them are cool, but not all of them. So, anyway. Now we got the nice Marsh Tomp and all its awesome missing glory. And we need another Pokemon for the team. I'm not even being that picky. I mean, I just want some variety, damn it. I don't know if uh, that's just me or not, but let's see, that's 20 damage. Uh... Oh, no, I don't want, I don't give a shit about that. I don't even know, I just clicked. That was like the contests and stuff. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll delete Mud Slap for Mud Shot. All right, anyway, guys, uh, I did not nickname it. Sorry, I'm not a nickname person. I usually don't, unless it's a Nuzlocke. And uh, for the Wonderlock, I'm not nicknaming because, you know, we're just wondering everyone right away. Uh, it is kind of the, the essence of Zerp. But uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this stream. That's pretty much where we're going to end after this dialogue. Uh, I understand the Pokemon League's rule states that trainers that uh, receive this, uh, yeah, they defeat a trainer, blah, 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 gym leader. And uh, we get the Pokemon League Stone Badge. Looking nice and hot there. Look at that. Nice. Looks pretty sweet. So we got the stone badge, that's awesome. We just cut out of battle. Uh, and yes, all Pokemon over uh, level, up to level 20, will, uh, will obey us. So now Beldum will obey us until level 20, that's cool. And we also get Rock Tomb. That is cool, I guess. And I believe Beldum might be able to learn that. That seems like a move for Beldum. But anyway guys, I, I apologize if we didn't add anyone to our party besides evolve the Mudkip into a Marsh Tomp, but at the same time it's like, just sucks like I, I'm, I'm not being picky it's just like all that there really is that's common is Zigzagoon, uh, Wurmple, and the occasional Wizmer. and the other ones were Talo and Wingle which they're okay but they're extremely rare they're uncommon anyway out of the way move it and uh, I guess that's where we're gonna start next episode over at the uh, he took some parts over by that cave towards the right so anyway guys if you did enjoy the stream if you are on Twitch right now, go ahead and click that follow button so you don't miss out on any future streams. And if you are on YouTube, then go ahead and click that like button and subscribe as well. And vice versa, you know, if you're on YouTube, you should also follow on Twitch so you don't miss any of these streams. Because, that means you probably missed it, you know, if you're watching on YouTube right now. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, when will I live stream again? Most likely, most likely, tomorrow... Tomorrow night, I think. Tomorrow night, around the same time, I think. Not definite. But. Anyway, hope you guys do enjoy the stream. And uh, until next time, I guess I'm out. Peace!